in this video i'm going to show you step by step how i transform this website looking like this basic design very unclear and it wasn't leading to sales into this after following some simple design principles the design is cleaner optimized for sales and the client loves it amazing this video is well suited for beginners who are new into web design i'd be explaining my process as i design so you won't get confused but please this is not a basic figma tutorial i have that on my channel already leave any questions for me in the comments and let's get into it this is my first time my second time looking at this website what i use i just put the what i've done so far is i made a figma file so i'll just move a figma file like this is it here i've also like put the website and i've put some inspiration sites that i will look at to um get inspiration for the design so this is how i approach a design something fast something quick to see what i can what can be improved basically number three the anatomy of AI conversion landing page. Just trying to get the idea of the Google landing page because the, the power of AI in Google is tech. Okay, this was the demo. Hello everyone, this is uh, Nick from Cortex. Today I'm going to quickly show you how long. to utilize our extension. So, but right now we can see how this product works and the idea is that you use AI in the Google Sheets. So we can write the copy as a user now how would i describe this product that's what we're going to change so what i'm going to do now is going to like cortex to the ai and go to figma i'm going to open html html to figma we'll import the website into it and we'll now redesign it from there that's now so import the cortex is this now the right hand side here Leo chat to be as a spreadsheet with our AI from that AI expansion. I th I think you need to try to do that uses spreadsheets. I think this is the accountants and things like that. Honestly, it's confusing. Like if I didn't watch the demo just now, I wouldn't know what these things mean. Templates for all use cases, okay? Generate extensive content for in from any inputs. Data cleaning. Okay. It's gonna be other than I thought. <laughs> and there's a plan, and there's what's this one to be? General, we've been using this. Like this, this is the testimonial. This is the city. Just so a simple landing page. And I feel we can finish something within an hour. He has no idea. But the problem is, how should this look like? Like we need to really think hard. How should the hero section look like? Like, bro, I'm trying to think like. Hmm. Nothing's clicking because <laughs> the power of AI in Google Sheet, the name is even wrong on the first level. So, this is what we'll do now. We'll look at inspirations. So, um, I have start landing pages here. Supercharge your AI. So, I saved some already. If you this one is doesn't open, I don't know why. But if you press it, if you take to this page, you see it like Notion, like Notion, but for signing contracts. Mm -hmm, not bad. You see, this is dope, bro. So then in scenarios where you cannot represent like, like notion for signing contracts, how will you present that? You can't really present it. You show the product and you can you can see it like oh this is the best signing contract in like notion. So, you, so you, that's that's an idea. So what can we compare it with? So that's that's the first step. What can we compare this thing with? For the copy, what copy idea? What can we compare this product with? That's the first step like i'm trying to think chat gpt for google sheets not, not the bad one so that's this one idea ideas chat gpt for google sheets that's one what again oh automate google sheets with ai oh, okay automate google sheets with AI, hmm. Think I'm trying to think, bro. The copy needs to be better than this. <sighs> I, might, I might end up using Claude, Claude to give me an answer, but for now, let's just do that this way. And just like that, I started getting ideas and concepts to try out for the redesign. Having an inspiration library was crucial for getting creative juices flowing, so I recommend you get that too as well. So I don't spend too much time thinking and ideating. I quickly went on to wrap up the inspiration session and go to work because the inspiration never ends. As I get a new section, I look for new inspirations again. So we have to get to work fast.
started the design with a logo i just had to make something more professional than what they currently had so i went to pinterest looked at some inspirations and got to work it took a while but i found a style that makes sense afterwards i realized that the human image is a product demo and it doesn't look nice at all so i spent a couple extra hours designing the ui of the cottage extension so the hero image looks a lot cleaner also I went to film my community to get the Excel table, so I didn't have to put down from start myself. And for the image, 3D image assets, I used Pline. I saw some assets in the community file and I just took them and edited them using the material section in um, Spline and brought them to Figma, edited them, added some effects, and yeah, we turned up pretty neat. In total, I ended up spending up three hours on the hero section design alone. That was a lot. So I took a break and during that period, I hit on Twitter and I got some feedback. If I show you here, yeah. This is the redesign from year to year. And that's what feedback feedback given was like looks better. Maybe put something inside the cells. Good points. The other one is like I'd love to see the background using grid. Hmm. That's one I should try. If you notice the first one so also add grid in the background. It's like how should I try? But I have a feeling that we can try something with the same style as catalog in this section here. It's something we can actually steal to try. I can feel we can do something about this. So you know what, I'm going to... How do you screenshot? If I screenshot, I'm seeing myself on the screen because I'm recording myself. So it's going to look weird, but give me a second. And I'm going to copy your personal ASM for Google Sheets. So let me just let me just copy that here. Because you know, feedback is important. If you're not working with the client directly to get feedback, it's very hard to keep this thing going. And for me right now, I'm not, I'm not really actually working with the client currently. It's just... Where they call, he has not responded to my DMs. Like, you know what? Let me, let me just do something. Let me surprise him. Since, it's like, there's no loss, you learn in the process, or you get paid, you know? So, your personal information is welcome. We can come back with that. For now, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, I think we should do more motivation for using this style. It was during the second iteration I realized I was running short on time. So I had to drop the design and move on to the next sections. One of the decisions I had to make was to discard this section. I wasn't sure what purpose it served in the site design. It was unclear and overall, it was an extra pixel preventing future customers from purchasing. So it had to go. Sorry, bro. Use cases. I'm thinking of the use cases. Use what customers use. I'm like, trying to see what's the best way to be on this thing. I can't just say just show the features below. But you know, I'm gonna show what use cases, templates, workshop stats, um, testimonials. Up with this section, you're always possible. Uh, with the amount of value that you're which is nice, but it's not, it's not something we can flex it right now. It's like now you can summarize this, do that, features, benefits. Oh my god. Well, <laughs>
I hope by now you are getting the drift of what a typical design process looks like. You research, you design, more research if needed, you iterate and you keep going, you know, it goes on. Now we're at the present section and I'm taking out the SAS landing pages for present section inspirations. That's most of it and we'll be moving on to the next section soon. We are at the testimonial section now. I use inspirations again from previous websites to dribble. I search for patterns that fit my design style, you know. One thing that is hard to appreciate in a time lapse like this is how long each of these take. I can spend hours in a section. It's unreal to be honest. But it's fun too. Let me know in the comments if you would like something like this where I just design all through and I don't cut or edit it at all. Let me know please. Okay, so I'll share this on Twitter. We've got some responses. Most people say A, A, B, A, A. So I'm going with A. A, A. This way that the colors are this. When you say school in the FAQ, take it in. Fla, 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 fla. Have an FAQ here. CTA was a fun part for me. I just love how it turned out. I also used ChatGPT to come up with suitable copy for the FAQ section. So far, it's all coming together nicely, and I hope you've been enjoying the video. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's make my day, to be honest. And yeah, let's get back to it.
So that's pretty much it. As you can see, I'm just going through the final design and checking it out and being proud of myself for the hard work I did. Yeah. If you want to see more results like this, check this video on the right hand side where I did something similar and I built it on Webflow. So have a look and um, yeah, I'll catch you up in the next one soon. Bye.